Yo! Uh, what's up guys? This is just going to be a quick uh, Legion grinding tutorial from 0 to 200. Uh, I, I tried recording one before, but it was like a 45 minute video, so I'm not going <laughs> to... Oh man. I'm not going to waffle as much, and I'm just going to... I'm just going to go to the maps. Uh, so the first one is going to be uh, Golem Temple 3, which is in... Victoria Island near Henesis. Uh, this is going to be from sort of level 0 or 10, wherever your character starts, until 25. Um, nice easy map. Just start at the bottom. Kill at the top. You can wait for respawn at the top and jump back down. Do like a big L shape. Uh, but this map's a really good EXP to start with. Um, some classes have a story mode that they get locked into. Um, so do that instead if you have to. Sometimes you can skip it if you've done it before, like the Explorers. Um... But yeah, next area we're going to go to, once you get to 25, is going to be Garbage Dump Shaded Dump Site. Uh, this is in Savage Terminal. Uh, that is this map here. Um, if you're at 25 and these mobs are still too strong to you, you can go one map to the right um, and kill these until 30 for your second job advancement. Uh, that's this map here. It's a Waste Treats Plantment. Waste <laughs> Treatment Plant Free. Um, and then once you get your second job, you can go back over here. God, the music here is so loud, man. Um, yeah, when you get to level 40, uh, that's when I start doing theme dungeons. Because uh, I'm I'm quite lazy, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, so the ones I like are Raina Strait um, and Gold Beach. Uh, doing two theme dungeons will get you to, uh, uh, to level 60. Uh, the... The Maple Guide shows which ones you can do. Um, I, again, as I said, I do Gold Beach and Rain Strait usually. You can also do uh, Fairy Academy for some of these items for some Star Force. Uh, but the face and the belt are usually enough. Um, you usually get 60 by the time you finish the second one. If you grind to 40 before. Um, and then, yeah. Once you're level 60, uh, we will move on to... Uh, where is Maple Island? Sleepy Wood. Copper Drakes. Uh, this one's just a simple map, just up and jump down, attack, hidden portal at the bottom which takes you to the top, uh, and you just cycle up and down. I'll cut you down. Nice easy map. Uh, once you finish in this area, you'll be level 70, um, and this is the first sort of like checkpoint or breaking point, uh, because level 70 you unlock the first level of your link skill. Um, for lower Legion level people, maybe like 2k, 3k, you just want to get everything to 70 first so you can build up your repertoire of uh, link skills um, because that will really help you push further later on. Uh, so 70 is a good place to stop if you're newer. Uh, if you're pushing fast, past, fast, if you're pushing past that, um, from 70 to 80, we go to Orbis, a new continent we go to, Stairway of the Sky. Um, and this one, again, just sort of kill. Go up, cycle up and down, nice easy map. Uh, there is a jump pad at the bottom you can use. Uh, these cloud things, they take you all the way to the top. Uh, some classes have a bit of a struggle on this slope trying to attack, it can be kind of annoying. <laughs> I'll be honest, um, especially mages. Um, but this one is quite good. Uh, you'd be here until level 80. Once you are level 80, uh, you can leave Orbis and go to Orient, and we want to go to Tent of the Entertainers. Um, a lot of guides will say to go to, like, Sahel 2, for example, and I'll, I'll show you why. Um, Sahel 2 is a nice small map. You can just locomote along in the bottom, but there's not a lot of mobs. So in Reboot, it kind of sucks with no totems. Same for this map, in my opinion, Desert of Serenity. Um, do I have any guild buffs? I'll cast this guy one. There you go. Um, so I go to Tent of Entertainers uh, because this is a much larger map with lots more mobs. So you can just go left and right, same thing, kill monsters up and down. Really, really good map. Um, makes that hurdle in the 80s to the 90s a lot easier. Uh, when you get to level 90, you want to use Maple Guide and go to this map here. It's authorized personnel only. Uh, this is a hidden street map, um, so you can't teleport to it like from the map. Uh, it shows up in a different area and you go through. And we want to go to area C2, 
which is this one. Um, and there is a hidden portal. It's one of them. I forget which one it is. I believe it's this one. So yeah, it's this map here. Um, you just jump all the way left and right again. Really, really good map. Yeah, nice and simple. There's a guy here with quests as well. Um, leave here. From that point, you'll get level 100. Uh, and you can do your fourth job advancement. That's fifth job. <laughs> uh, fourth job advancement to sort of get your class a bit stronger. And then go do Zakum. Uh, Zakum gives a nice chunk of EXP at level 100. You want to grab a rune before you go. Um, and make sure you have any boosters. If you're scared you're going to die, just take a buff freezer. Um, and you just go in and kill him. And we drop a fire. By the heat of the sun. I don't know why I'm doing this. Just <laughs> to demonstrate, I guess. Um, if he drops a face or an eye accessory or a weapon, uh, you can use those. Um, Star Force them. They're really good. Uh, until you get your penciler set at 140. Uh, from there, you want to start Star Force. I've opened the boss menu. You want to start Star Forcing your gear a bit because the maps here onwards all use Star Force. Um, Sky Nest 2. I need to stop saying um. <laughs> Sky Nest 2 is a really good one. Really nice for most classes. You can clear quite easily. Um, especially classes with summons. You can put them on the top um, and then just clear the bottom two layers. I really like Sky Nest 2. Uh, some people uh, have started using, at least from my friend group, uh, Skynet's free because it is a bit bigger with more mobs. But I, I think it's too big. <laughs> I, I might just be lazy, but I think it's too big. Um, so, Skynet's 2. Really, really good one over here. When you get to about 112 or 110 ish, um, you want to go to Toy Room, which is in Ludibrium, or Apparatus Room, sorry, I should say. Uh, same deal, nice, small, compact map. Um, good mob density. Uh, in EU Reboot, you usually have a lot of good burnings in this area. Uh, but the same sort of deal, just rotate in a circle. Uh, summons, you can put bottom left and then just clear uh, right side. Uh, nice easy map. Uh, you want to be here until about 120. And then we go to the next Star Force map, which is Forgotten Passage. Uh, or Thanatos. A really, really good map. This one is just a big long line, big circle. All the way around and back. Hidden portal at the end takes you all the way up to the top, so you don't need to worry about having up jump or up teleport or anything. Uh, nice and easy. Around and around. I really like this map. This map's really good. <laughs> uh, and then you want to go to uh, Fox Ridge. Oh, this guy's here. I will give you a guild buff as well. Uh, but Fox Ridge is really, really good. Um, some people do Moon Bunnies uh, because it's a bit of a smaller map. This guy's doing Moon Bunnies, apparently. It's a Dawn Warrior. I'll give him a guild buff. I can't cast it. Uh, but Dawn Warriors is nice and compact. Not Dawn Warrior. Moon Bunnies is nice and compact. Uh, if we change channel... Someone's here as well. It's busy today. <laughs> uh, but here, here's a free Fox. Uh, but this one is the same sort of deal. You can do either of these two maps from 130 to 140. The main thing you want to get here is Pencilier gear. Like this. You want to see if you can get a full set of Pencilier gear um, by the time you're 140. If not, don't worry about it. Um, you can still get more of the drop. Uh, and when you get to 140, that is another sort of stopping point. Because that is when your Legion becomes S. I should have said 120 is your level 2 link skill, uh, but we're past that now. <laughs> uh, 140 is your other good stopping point for 6k Legion. Uh, you get all characters 140, you'll get there easily. Um, but it's a nice sort of power boost for your whole account. At that point, as 6k Legion, you'll also unlock the full grid. Uh, but when you get to 140, you want to Star Force up some Penciler gear, uh, because they give a set bonus, uh, which is mob, mob damage. Uh, which is really, really helps you, especially when you're low funding. If they have good flames, that's lovely. If you have spare cubes, you can try and get them to 3% uh, main stat. Uh, but it's not super, super necessary. Um, and then we're going to go to Kerning Tower at 140. Uh, what I do is this map here, uh, which is second floor Cafe 1. I do this until 150. 
same deal just rotate in a circle you can put summons on one of the platforms at the top uh, and then just move around and around nice and easy i i really like this map it's super easy um again i play flash jump classes so they all have an up jump i don't know about tp it probably sucks here. <laughs> um but yeah same thing and then at 150 because you're closer in level range, I go to Espresso Machines. 80% burn. Uh, but this one's really simple, just left and right. Kill mobs. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Uh, they did introduce recently some new maps in this area. Um, they all have good burning, but my issue with them... Nice voice crack. Um, is that the mobs are smaller. So for some classes, it's a lot harder to like kill the bottom platform when you're on the middle class. Um, so as an example, if I'm on here, I can kill the bottom floor with my main attack. So I don't need to be as like crazy. Um, so again, because I'm a bit lazy, I much prefer these maps, even if sometimes they have lower burning. Um, at 160-ish, you can go up to dressing tables or you can stay at the espresso machines. I do that quite a lot. I just stay there until 170. Um, but if you want to get the most bang for your buck, you can go up to uh, the fifth floor uh, for the dressing tables. Same deal. Summon top left and then just clear the uh, rest of the map. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Uh, from there, you'll get to 170. And then we are going to move to Aliens. And this is my sort of reg server history dying hard a bit. A lot of people will go to Critias um, and cycle through all of those maps, but I don't go through nearly as many of those. I go here until 175 usually. Um, it's just left and right. Kill. Summon up top. And just clear the map. Uh, nice, easy. Really good for classes with big AoE skills. And the music's a banger. Pepper Jam. <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, from there, at 175, I then go to Critias. I gave in to the, the reboot mindset of Critias. I'm so sorry. Uh, but this map's good. It is the Corrupted Magic Forest 1. Uh, nice, simple map. I did this map on my Lara, actually. It was absolutely crazy. Uh, summon at the top, and then just clear the rest. Uh, and you want to do this until 180. Uh, and then you will go to uh, Forest of Sorrows 1, which is just, again, sort of a big circle. You cycle around. This is a good channel. We've had some good burnings. Holy. Channel 17 is blessed. Uh, but good. I usually put someone up here and then just rotate in an L. I like this map. This map's good. The familiars are cool as well, of the uh, Critias mobs. Uh, and here, we'll stay here until 185. Uh, and then we go to, back to Grandis, uh, to Volpez in the Fox Valley, uh, in the Fox Treetop. You need to be 185 to enter here. Um, there is a quest line you can do as well, which will give you some EXP um, and bump you up to about 180, 88, 89 when you finish it, and then you can go to grinding. Or you can just start grinding instantly. Depends what you like. Um, and this is a fantastic map. I've done all of my 200s here in Reboot. Um, all my 199s, I should say. <laughs> uh, because we grind here from 185 to 199, and then we do the Haven Story Quest. But one thing I will say about this map while we're here is that these mobs hit ridiculously hard. Um, they do a lot of damage. So if you don't have a pet with... Uh, auto heal uh, you're gonna be chugging potions like no tomorrow uh, so keep an eye on that uh, but yeah 199 we go in our quest tab and we do the uh there's gonna be a version here at 180 or 190 it'll be haven um, and we'll tp there i'll go home to tp you saw nothing don't look at my house don't don't judge. <laughs> uh, but we will go to Haven. I think this lets me TP there. Uh, yeah, there we go. Haven. 
uh, and you'll have a series of quests from uh, One Eye. Uh, you just follow those quests, and it will take you from level 199, zero percent, to level 200 quite easily, and then you're done. Uh, nice and easy. At level 200, your legion is then SS. You've got your second to final bonus from that. The only one higher being SSS, um, but SSS is level 275, which I don't know. Unless you're like absolutely insane, no one's going to go for. 42 characters of 275s, right? No one's going to do that. No chance. Surely. <laughs> oh, God. One day it will happen. Someone will do it. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, that's sort of it. Uh, general tips that I kind of have is with your pencil lyric gear, just kind of make it as soon as you get it. You get a nice power boost. Um, link skills, again, really important generate those from your checkpoints of going to 70 and then 120 um, and then your 140 if you're a legion bonus and then 200 for your final push for 8k um yeah nice and easy this version's a lot shorter than the 40 minute version i recorded previously <laughs> uh yeah thank you for watching uh and yeah that, that'd be kind of it thank you very much i need to press the stop recording button <laughs>